Hello everybody, welcome back to Survival Island Craft. This is episode 5, and I am starting this episode on a massive pillar of treasure, of goodies, of the loot. So we're going to mine these with our brand new Fortune 3 pickaxe that I got from training with those villagers way down there, and let's see how much we can get. Starting off strong with almost a stack of diamonds. That's pretty good. All right, guys, let's check it out. So here's our treasure chest. Almost a stack of diamonds, tons of redstone, tons of coal, some iron, gold, and all this good stuff. That's good enough, at least for now, but I'm thinking this is the episode. This is the episode where we build an iron farm. However, to do that, we're going to need a lot of beds, and beds are kind of a scarce resource for me right now since we don't have... Um, any sheep around. So I'm gonna see if I have any beds in here. I believe I have maybe one or two. Um, and then we'll maybe get a villager in here because I think I can, if I can get a shepherd in, he probably trades wool, I believe, and so we can get used to that. So let me grab a minecart and let's pull a guy out of our villager farm. So let's come right up here. All these guys are just wandering around. I kind of want to kill them all, but <laughs> I'll refrain for now. Um, so let's push this right up against there. Yep, there's one right there. And he's instantly a fisherman. Really? Come on, man. I just... I just... <laughs> all right, we've got this guy here. Hopefully he'll eventually turn into a shepherd. Um, but for now, I think I'm just going to go gather up some more resources for this iron farm. And again, I think we're going to put it way over on that island there. And like we said in the first episode, we are including that in our little island area. So I'm not cheating. Don't worry, guys. Um, so we'll figure that out and figure out what design we're going to use. I have an idea on what design I'm going to use because I've used it before. But I'm not sure. I might look up some other things. So we'll also probably end up using a combination of both the gray stained glass and maybe white stained glass and some regular gray glass. Um, and maybe even some um, just regular glass. Um, but we are going to use all of those and kind of go for the same like rocky feel that we have over by the fishing shack. Um, so that'll look really good. Another example of that problem with the villagers is right here. Because this guy, I'm trying to destroy his workstation so I can put it back and get better trades. But then he latches onto these barrels over here. And I've tried getting rid of the barrels and even so, they kind of keep it for a really long time. So I'm not sure exactly what I meant to do. <laughs> so you guys let me know again down in the comments what the heck I'm doing wrong. As you can see, I'm coming over here to the farming area. We've also got melons. I found some melon seeds in um, an abandoned mine shaft, so we'll probably plant those up in a bit. Uh, and I'll harvest all these, but what I want to do is move all the trees up there because right here, as I said in a couple episodes ago, we are in the Minecraft beach right here, and then over here, a deep, lukewarm ocean. And I don't think that's the right biome, um, but up there we have some plains biome, so we're going to put the trees up there with flowers, and we should be getting some bees in here pretty soon. All right, here we go. As you can see, we are in the plains biome, so these should be getting us some beehives eventually, but I need to harvest some more wood. Um, we also got this guy way over here to be a uh, shepherd finally, and I locked him in with uh, buying some shears, um, and so that's fine, but uh, as of yet, he's only trading wool for emeralds, and uh, I need to get wool, man. Come on. So we'll keep leveling him up and see where we can go from there. Alright guys, we're here swimming over to our little extra island. That's the rest of our stuff. And again, this is not not against the rules, guys. I said at the very beginning that this was going to be part of our island. So, we're going to flatten this out. And this is where our iron farm is going to be. Um, it's pretty thin. So, <laughs> we might do it just right over here. But I'm going to flatten this out like I said. And then we'll get started on building it. I have some bad news. Our boy over there died. So, I'm going to get another one. And we're going to put him in the trading hall. I'm going to get rid of one of those uh, book villagers that is being completely useless. And we're going to put one of these guys in there. We are going to work on getting efficiency and stuff, uh, but just not right now. So we'll put this guy over there. All right, he is in. Now we just have to wait till he locks onto this and see if we can get a good trade for him. Aha! Uh -huh. This may not have been efficiency like we wanted, but this guy is giving me fortune 3 now, so I can add that right there, and we can get rid of this guy and put something else useful there. So let me add this sign here. Just 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. I don't know why, but I always do signs like this. It just, it just looks clean, you know? So we'll do this, and that is done. Fortune 3, instant, perfect. Now we can get rid of this, and this guy, um, you might want to avert your eyes. Goodbye, friend. You've served me well. Okay, so I'm back over on the smaller island clearing this thing out. Um, and I just noticed something. Is that another monument? 
are there two monuments right here? I mean, I'm not going to touch that one at all. But the other one is right over there. That's within like a 200 Brock range. That's crazy. Oh my goodness. Oh, I wonder if... I wonder if there's a spot in the middle. No, they're too far apart. But it would be cool if there was a spot in the middle where you could hook both of them up. Theoretically. I mean, I'm not going to do it, as I said, because we're only using the one over by our island. But that would be cool, man. Alright guys, we're just about ready to get started on this iron farm, and by the way, the design I'm using is from Chapman, uh, link in the description below to his channel and his video. He's a pretty cool, and he's got a lot of good tutorials, so go check him out, uh, and we're going to start building up this thing. Alright guys, bit of an update here. We've got the main base of this thing built up, as, long as, this, uh, as well as this tube here. Um, now this is built up higher than it is in the video, but that is because uh, in the video his iron golems go down and die underground, and I don't want that. I want mine to die right about here um, so we can see them. And we're, of course we're going to make this prettier eventually, but uh, for now I just want to build up the actual farm. Um, and so here is our chamber and everything, and I'll keep working on this. Since the last clip, I have become a professional. Yes, that's right. You heard me right. I became a professional. Not just because of my fancy gold boots, but because of two things. One, we got some golden carrots. So, you know, I'm just a complete professional there. Best saturation in the game. I don't care what other people say. I'm going to use them. And uh, right down here, there we go. Professional number two. We've got ourselves a beehive. So I'm going to grab that. Thank you very much, Bee's Nest. Uh, and we'll keep planting more of these trees and get more of those up. I need to take those out. Ooh. Uh, <laughs> but, yeah. It's totally, totally professional. Totally an expert in this in this game. Yes. We've also got this guy leveled up a little bit. So we're going to need some carpets anyway for our things. But I'm going to have to level this guy up a lot before he gives me anything like beds. But we can get the blue wool here, so that's good. Um, so we can automatically make beds there. But I don't know. I just kind of want to level them up, see if we can get some other colored beds, um, stuff like that. So we'll see. We'll see. I also need to clean up these guys, apparently. Or this guy might take care of it himself. Here. Yes, hello. We've also got this guy right over here, which has mending for 10 emeralds. Now, I already locked this guy in, so we'll leave him here. It's still mending. It's still pretty cheap, so we'll leave that, just in case this guy like sells out at some point. But that's pretty good, 10 emeralds. So we're going to try to get this guy as well into um, a good a good trade. I'm thinking efficiency. I'm thinking that's what, that's what we need. Uh, also, you need to die. Okay, this guy just turned into efficiency 5. I do not want to lose it, but I need a ton of emeralds before I can do that. I wonder if I can if I can get sticks, because that seems like the only thing I can make right now, which I can sell to the Fletcher. So let's see if we can save that, because efficiency 5... No! He lost it. He lost it. <laughs> Buddy, why? I am also so close to 30 levels. Please, I want my 30 levels. Civ, don't die before then. <laughs> Let's also make some bottles so I can get some of that honey when it comes. Um, I think, uh, yeah, we'll just make about that many. Uh, I'm not planning to get too many. <laughs> um, now, let me clear out my inventory because I feel like I have not had a clear inventory for ages. So let's put this stuff in there, put that there. Get rid of the leather boots. Get rid of some sign. Uh, we got some glass here. That's for the iron farm. We'll keep that. Um, ooh, I need to sleep. We'll do that now. Boom! We just hit 30 levels. That is incredible. Awesome. All right. So we need to we need to get some bookshelves, uh, and then we can set up an enchanting station. Perfect. I thought I had some here. So we've got six there. Uh, I can go buy some more, but we're also going to need an enchanting table. So yeah, let's grab four of that. Grab some diamonds. Perfect. We've got plenty of those now. And we've got a book in our inventory, so let's craft that up. Uh, enchanting table. Boom. Look at that. All right. Um, now let's go find some more bookshelves. I can come down here. Ouch. <laughs> uh, I might kill myself just because of that. But Okay. Nine. So we can get a couple of those. Eight. I think we need 15. 15 is the max enchantment. Am I correct on that? I think so. So we'll have to collect up some more emeralds and do that first. You know, I feel like things just go so much slower on Island Craft because, you know, like I don't have uh, unlimited uh, access to like cows and stuff. I would have had an enchanting setup so much earlier if I did, um, but instead I have to do all that through villagers and stuff like that. Uh, 
it, it makes it hard, but I think I think this is a good challenge. Um, so the series is going a bit slower, and of course, I said like <laughs> I said in like episode two that I wanted to make an iron farm that episode, and it's now episode five. So <laughs> don't hate me, guys. It just it takes a long time to actually get anything done in this. So I've had to do a lot of grinding off camera to get just where we are now. Um, but I'll keep. I'm I'm still going. I, I'm enjoying this. So I hope you guys are too. And you guys can let me know. Um, let me know what you think I should make um, next. I, I think the iron farm is coming along pretty well. I'll go show you guys that in a minute. Um, but the villager breeding is okay. We need to finish up the trading hall. The starter trading hall. Because it's not looking great right now. Um, somebody mentioned that it looked like Moana. And yes it does. I love that. <laughs> it totally does look like Moana. But yeah, we need to go fix that up and make sure it's got, um, make sure it actually looks good. Because right now it just looks kind of crappy, to be honest. So <laughs> we'll have to fix that up, uh, gather some more basalt and stuff. Once we got some efficiency, I do not feel like doing that manually, you know. Let's see, can I check if this has anything in there? I feel like, I feel like there's a way to look at this and understand if there's, if the bees are in there. But I'm not not completely sure honey level is three I think honey level five is when it starts to show and when you can um, get it but I don't know if yeah I don't know man alright guys as you can see we've got the whole thing for the iron farm we're back over here um, on our island these are gonna be like the workstations where the villagers go uh, and we will have to transport some guys from way over there but uh, the inside the cauldrons is where the zombies go and they're gonna scare our villagers of course spawning iron golems right in here um, this design is brilliant. Again, it's by Chapman. Link in the description below. Such a cool guy. Um, and yeah, this is this is looking pretty good. So, as you can see, I replaced the um, stuff down there with some cobble and smooth stone and r light gray concrete and stuff, uh, just to fit more with our s style um, for this um, base so far. Um, and yeah, I, I think it's coming along really well. Again, we need to get more beds so we can place those here because there requires three beds for each, which um, is going to be a while to get those um, from our villagers. But that's fine. Uh, we'll figure that out. Um, and yeah, uh, I think I'm going to leave this thing for now. Yes, I said we would try to get this working in this episode. But again, things work so much slower in Island Craft um, since you don't have unlimited resources and everything like that. That scared me so much. This guy just puffed up. Oh my word. Hello, pufferfish. And now I'm drowning. Okay. Uh, okay. Okay, I wasn't I wasn't gonna break, but I think I think I have to. This man is selling silk touch for five emeralds. So that guy is useless now. I I locked this guy in. So we're gonna we're gonna make this our silk touch guy. Silk touch. Which is very useful. And whoops, we'll boot that rather. Excellent. And now that means I'm sorry, uh, Mending 20. It's time for you to go, because Mending 10 is much better. So, you're you're getting the boot, my friend. I'm going to take this. Thank you very much. Can we have a moment of silence for Mending 20? Because he's served me well. I think what I want to do for the rest of this episode is venture back into the unknown. Um... And they are no, um, but <laughs> I don't want to risk my 30 levels first, so I'm going to get an enchanting set up, um, grind for a little bit, and then I'll meet you guys back. We'll probably put it in the attic because uh, there's nothing up there. My friends, I've been doing some grinding, some serious, serious grinding. So if we come upstairs here, we added this little uh, upstairs here, move the anvil over there. We've come right up here. We've got level 30 enchantments. Yes, look at this. Unbreaking 3, sharpness, whatever. Whatever we want. I think, I think I'm going to enchant a pick first. Um, if I check a pick in here, it's going to give me Fortune 3, which we have a Fortune 3 villager, to be fair. To be fair. But I, I can't pass it up. We're going to get Fortune 3, and hopefully we get something else. Let's see. Let's craft this up here. Put that right in. Oh, crap. I always forget that you need Lapis. I've been playing this game a long time, <laughs> and it's... It's only recently, for me at least, relatively recently, that you need lapis. So we're going to chuck this in there, put that. Yes! Efficient... Wait, what? Fortune 2? Did that only say for, a Fortune 2? 
Why? Why? <laughs> I don't really care. It's okay. We'll use that. Uh, we got the efficiency. That's fine. We can combine it with something else. Uh, I also have 20, 20, 29 levels, so I can uh, keep enchanting once we get more. Uh, I'm going to chuck this silk touch pick back in here. Or maybe not. Actually, I might keep it on me for a minute. Um, we're going to do a little bit more grinding. Maybe I can get one more enchant in before we head off into the unknown. All right, it is time to head into the nether. I did one more enchanting sesh. We got uh, just sweeping edge three. That's kind of disappointing, but um, that's fine. Um, so let's head into the unknown. But I think that might be the end of the episode, guys. We'll start the next episode with an adventure in the nether. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed, and if you did, please make sure to leave a like. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you hit that bell notification if you haven't already, so you know when I release new content. Alright guys, thanks for watching again. This has been Siv. I'll catch you later.